Hello and welcome to Conversations on Consciousness. Today I'm going to be speaking to you about communication. Communication. How important is communication? It's very important. Business owners, bosses, colleagues, friends, family, dogs, yourself, partners, relationships, husband and wife, children, internet, social media, everything. Right now, I'm communicating with you. Communicating with yourself is also important. Your neighbors, everyone around you. Body language is a big one. Not many people understand everybody. Not everybody can understand everybody. Quite popular comedians say like Robin Williams, you know, an amazing actor, really loved a lot of films that he was in, famous for like Mrs. Doubtfire and um, Hook, which was another favorite film of mine when I was younger. Always being a joker, always very happy. And he died depressed, you know, he took his own life. There are other characters like this who have been very happy people, put on a different mask, you know, trying to be a, a happy person, but inside they're dying, they're depressed. So communication is, you know, uh, body language can be very confusing to some people. That it doesn't matter how someone is happy, it's we need to communicate. And especially these times right now, 2021, that we need to reach out, not just ourselves, but to people around us in our life to make sure that we're okay, that people are happy, that people are feeling okay. Life is filled up with great opportunities all the time. And to understand people better, we need to communicate, to talk, to open up emotionally, physically, spiritually, sometimes physically, but even it's that's difficult right now. Communication is the key, I believe, to all relationships. That being honest, truthful, expressing, but doing it in a certain way that doesn't hurt others. Now I've, you know, had many like connections in the past where people had never been really very good at communication. And I've always been the one trying to reach out, reach out, and rarely people would reach back. And those that have continued to be in my life, friends, who continue to reach out, to, to talk, to be present, have you know made it into a, a valuable you know friendship where we can connect with each other and we can talk and we can reach out and say, hey, you okay? You feeling all right? I haven't heard from you for a while. And then it's down to the other person to to be honest and say, yeah, sorry, I'm, I've just been busy. So, like, okay, just, just concerned, make sure you're okay. And the same goes for relationships too. You know, if you know that your partner's being quiet with you, it's important to not keep those emotions to yourself and let them build up in anger and then into attack mode when you, when you see them next to like, Hey, yeah, what, you haven't replied to me. Like, what, you okay? It's just, we need to remember that it's important to communicate, but not point the finger and like, you know, you have been this way. We can, we can be quick to judge as humans. We can be quick to assume too much when actually we are sometimes wrong. And sometimes being psychic, being in tune to the world can sometimes confuse us that we can often feel things from people, but yet we we are we question them and I talk and say, hey, are you okay? Because I'm feeling a certain way. And then sometimes the other person doesn't want to open up and be honest. And honesty is something that's very attractive. You know, it's like I have a lot of patience and I can forgive. I can forget and forgive with people if they're being very raw and genuine. And if they say, hey, sorry, I've been in contact. I found this situation that, you know, Last time we spoke, well, I found it a bit difficult or I felt uncomfortable. And then you talk and then you'll be like, oh, what, why is that? What, what happened? And then this is part of our own journey. A spiritual journey of ourselves that we can look into ourselves and go, oh, I was being like that. 
okay, maybe not for everybody, but maybe for a few. Okay, how can I learn to, to change myself? How can I be a better person? You know, how can I reach out? How can I be a better father? How can I be a better lover? How can I be a better parent? Um, so that one, father. How can I be, be a better friend, a family member, a colleague? All these different things. And it's just taking on board what others say. We've not an attack or taking it too personally, but using that communication to, to allow yourself to grow. And that I think is very empowering, that when we communicate with people around us emotionally, we can grow emotionally. Um, whereas we, if we hold stuff in, and I used to do this all the time, I used to just hold stuff in and not say it. And then it used to get built up and built up. It's like a coiled spring. You know, those slinkies that you throw downstairs, you know, like shh. <laughs> it's like it's it's a spring that's been compressed and then at any point it can just you know be released so it's important to always communicate because communication is about feelings and otherwise things get turned into little wars you know problems um, anger and sometimes it's really hard to express because the other person as we may know may not be willing or have the emotional muscles or the empathy to take on board what you're saying. Now, I've always been a person that's been willing to listen. I try my best. I'm like, okay, wow, you've been feeling like that. Okay, what can I do to change? And I don't expect everyone to be like me or be better or be in a, in a place where they are a master of their, emo their own emotions and really empowered by themselves you know by communication however communication is important like if we don't communicate then problems can arise you know i know one person in my life who doesn't communicate with me at all <laughs> they're very very quiet um they're very you know it's just the way they are it's, it's their personality they're, they're very inward thinking they're very analytical they think a lot they're always like just always thinking, 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 they're in their mind rather than external. And communication, what I learned many years ago is that there's there's bubbles, you know, it's like, okay, say if you are a bit of a loner and you don't want to be and you want to communicate with more people, make friends, then there's these bubbles. And this is what was given to a friend of mine many years ago. And maybe like, just have that, that, that point in my life where I was like, oh God, yeah, I've been reaching at people differently. So say there's like, I don't know, there's three people in a room. Say the person is here and these other two. And like, they're, they're here. They're there like talking, you know, talking to each other. And then you're over here. And you have to remember there's like a certain type of bubble. Okay, at the moment, social distancing is a bit, bit of a problem. However, like, if you want to get closer, then you have to remember that you don't want to be in a separate bubble. You want to get closer and then start talking. And like, what I used to do years ago was be the viewer and like oh they're not they don't want to like talk to me and they're they're both talking over here and this is me and like oh they're they're over there talking and I want to get closer but I didn't know how and all it really took was just really approaching and just commenting and talking and I've been a bit of a a loner in a way most of my life always on my own um literally on my own my brother is nine years older than me um parents worked from home um i never really had a close close friends and i i always had that social issues of getting close to people and then one day that all changed by a friend who said you know you've got to imagine you're in these different bubbles that you know and she actually pushed me once closer to these people i said just talk i'm like oh and i did and i'm like we were just talking about normal stuff like, hey, I like your shoes, or like, hey, that's a cool backpack. Like, is that like from, you know, a certain brand or, and then like you start talking. It's just um, remembering really that we are all, all children at heart, you know, we're all children of God. <laughs> we're all children of big G of the universe. I don't really like the word God. It can be very off-putting for some people, but we are all children at heart. You know, our souls are, you know, we are children and so we need that nurturing we need that emotional nurturing of communication and feeling that we are connected and this is where communication comes into play that 
physically, if it's not possible to be physically interactive with somebody like presence, you know, physical presence, if you are in your own home during these dark times, but also very beautiful times to go inward and learn, then it's like, okay, how can I communicate? And it's like having a small group of people and it's about quality, not quantity. And this is something to always remember about with friendship and communication that stop reaching out to, to tons and tons of people. Like appreciate the small connections that you have in your life. Because I promise you that the more you work on those friendships, they're gonna grow. It's like a beautiful flower that the more you feed it, the more you give it attention, you're gonna see it growing, you're gonna see its beauty, you're gonna see it having its bad times of losing flowers or petals or leaves, but it'll pick up. And again, it's about communication because when you communicate with those around you and yourself who have the time for you as well, who are willing to communicate with you, then you have there something that's a beautiful friendship a romance, a connection that can last a lifetime, many lifetimes, that if you're both willing, if you're both in the right headspace, the right, both the right heart space to come together and just communicate. And it doesn't have to be anything important. It could just be jokes or funny or just sharing a thought. And don't be scared, just be yourself. It's important to be yourself and to communicate in a way that you think is normal in a sense. But having a respect of like, okay, not everyone thinks like me. <laughs> Communication is important. It's, it's a, it, for me, it's the glue of relationships of all kinds. And that without communicating effectively, you don't, you're not educating the other person about how you feel. For me, it's like, I hate my face being touched. Like relatives and partners, they like to touch my face for some reason. And for me, I just feel uncomfortable. Uh, maybe it's because I had spots like bad acne when I was younger, but I just, I feel it like invasive, you know, especially randomly. So it's like, for me, communicating that little simple little thing that it's, it's a big thing for me. And it's like, it's educating those around you that, oh, okay. I, I, lo I love Ladrin, but like, he doesn't love his face being touched. It's like, what can, okay, I'll just do something different. And then if I did, like, never communicated, then things wouldn't be okay. And then if I never communicated with that certain issue, then those feelings will keep, you know, keep building up, building up. And then one day you can pop and like attack in a, in a wrong way of like, hey, don't do that. And they're like, whoa, whoa, I've been doing that for ages. So what's wrong? <laughs> it's just about being honest and being open. And we're not all perfect. We're all different. We're all very strange people, you know, in this world. We all have different habits, different phobias, different fears. We do things differently than other people. We're not all the same. But at the end of the day, communication is all the same thing that we have. And we need to communicate and connect in a certain way that we can with others. And that is what is important. And this is why I'm communicating with you because I want to share a little bit of my life, my mind, my ramblings of communicating of consciousness to help perhaps brighten your day a little bit. So thank you for watching. Keep talking, keep chatting, leave comments down below um, and I'd love to hear from you. So have a great day and I'll speak to you next time.